So in this video, we're going to learn how to add fog in our game. And there are many ways to actually add fog in our game. The most common way is by using a post process material. So you will create a fog post process material and add it to our level using a post process volume and it will look like this. Now I'm not using this method because of a bug in Unreal Engine 5.03 which is the version that I'm using to create this tutorial series. And when using the depth fade node, the depth is offset from the actual geometry and causes the post process effect to not work properly. And it will create this unwanted screen effect. Hence, instead of using a post process material to create my fog, I am going to be using a translucent surface material. Alright, so that is a surface material with the blend mode set to translucent and I will use that as my fog and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over here to the content controller, right click and create a new material. I'm going to call this M fog and after that double click on the material to open it up and then click on this node over here the main node go over to the left side under details material you have this option called blend mode click on the drop down arrow and then select translucent after that right click and search for scene depth and from here drag the pin and search for divide once again right click and search for constant Connect the value to B and we are going to convert this to a parameter. So right click and select convert to parameter. And we are going to name this fog distance. Just like that. And click on the fog distance over here and set the default value as 2000. After you have done that, drag the pin and search for power. So move the fog over to this side over here and drag the pin from the power and search for clamp. After that, once again move this towards the side, drag the pin from the clamp and search for lerp, linear interpolate over here. Alright, so click this. Make sure to set the connection of the clamp to the alpha value over here. Then I'm going to search for a constant 3 vector. And in here, we're going to choose a color that we like. So I'm going to choose this color over here. Again, you can choose any color that you want your fog to actually look like. And after that, I'm going to right click over here and search for scene color. Connect the pin over here like this. And then drag the output pin of the lerp node to the emissive color of the master node I suppose. And we are done. You can already see kind of the effect over here. So we are going to click on apply. Go to the content driver. And then right click the fog that we have just created over here. And select create material instance. I am just going to give this name as it is. After you have created the material instance, we are going to go to the blueprints, open the third person character and in here go to the viewport and in the left side we have the components tab over here and in the components tab we have the camera boom. So select camera boom and click on the add button over here and search for plane. So click on plane. I'm just going to call this as fog plane and we need to now properly set the scaling for it. So in the right side under details transform we have the rotation transforms over here. I'm going to select the y axis and give it a value 90. So it's 90 degrees. Drag this out a bit and then we want this plane over here to completely cover the view of this camera over here. So I'm going to increase the scaling. 
just in the x and y axis all right so scale this a bit like this and it's actually fine if the fog plane over here goes past the camera view and after you have scaled it change the material so again in the right side materials tab select the material by clicking on this button over here and then searching for the material that we have created before so it's m fog and again make sure to select the m fog instance all right and there you can already see this going on in action again compile this and now we can actually test it so run the game actually the shaders and compiled yet so make sure the shaders are compiled before you try this so once again trying this out you can see now the fog plane is working the material didn't compile previously and that was the reason why it wasn't working but right now for a quick explanation this is the scene depth node all right so this scene depth node basically it gets the depth of the scene and we have this divide node over here and this divide node controls up to how much do we actually want to see so in this case you can actually control it by going to the material instance so i'm going to minimize it over here run this once again and i'm going to click on pause and now i'm going to click on the checkbox over here to enable fog distance so we can modify the value and watch as I decrease the value the fog is increasing in intensity but I but if I increase the value you can see the fog reduces in intensity and you can't see anything beyond this because again nothing have been generated before it so you can control how much further you want to see or whether you want to limit that and make the fog more intense and that is what a material instance allows you to do basically a material instance is an instance of a material of your choosing so in this case it's the m fog and you can control a material in real time using a material instance and if you have some parameters like previously we created the fog distance so we have set this constant over here as a parameter to control how much fog we wanted to see so that is a quick explanation on what it does closing this up and we have the power node over here basically the power node makes the difference between the object and the fog more clearer all right so without the power node so again it's going to compile compiling the shaders over here and you can see the difference between the fog and the plane over here is a lot more difficult to differentiate and using the power node it makes it a little bit more easier to differentiate the fog from the plane so when you have multiple objects like the laser object ramp up tiles or any other obstacles that you set up in your game you can see them more clearly and there is a reason why i added the power node and the clamp node basically clamps the value to 0 to 1 so we can add this to the alpha value over here and everything works properly the constant 3 basically is the color of the fog and again you can change the color if you wanted i could have made this a parameter as well but i just didn't feel like the need to do it but again if i were to change the color notice the color will change after it compiles over here so you can see over here right now it's more pink and the scene color basically allows all the colors of the objects apart from the fog to appear so if i were to remove this you can see that the colors are no longer visible and again coming back over here make sure to apply the changes and come back over here to test this out Once again, the shaders need to get compiled, so that's something to keep in mind. And there. So this is how the game would look like without the scene color node. So that is the reason why we added the scene color node over here. It's actually very important so that the game looks a little bit more realistic.
and have realistic fog so yeah that's how our fog actually works and that's also it for this video thanks for watching and see you later bye